All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Looking at Solana here. Solana is one of those uh, projects that I, I like. I think it has a bright future. It's going to make a good trade someday. Uh, but we are looking at the four hour chart here. You can see that it's making higher highs and higher lows. If you go to the daily chart, it did break out of its, its massive downtrend. So that's a good sign. Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens with Solana. Of course, a 14K or below Bitcoin would probably drag a lot of these coins down uh, but yeah until then you know let's just look at where it is now you can see it's finding um, resistance at the 1618 at 42 here uh, we did break down below the support at the 236 at 4077 so our next line of defense is the 382 at 39 so that's what you want to watch hold if you break 39 you're coming down for about a 3% loss to 38 uh, so yeah, just watch 39 as long as you hold 39 you're still good for a bounce back up to come back and retest the 1618 at 42 You lose 39 and you're coming down here to the 0.5 and then the 618 of course So just watch that and if we can bounce and get back above 42 here and close uh, Then we have a shot to get up to the 2618 here, eight here at 48 25 so if you can get up here to 42 close above that uh, then you'll have about a 13% gain to 48. So just kind of watch those prices on Solana here on the shorter time frame. Uh, let's actually just peek at the daily really quick. But like I said, I do like Solana for a long-term trade someday. I like the project. I like everything about it. Um, but yeah, you can see, well, I didn't even draw the line. You can see that we broke out of the downtrend here. Uh, and then on the larger time frame, you can see we need to get up here to the 236 at 53 for momentum uh, back up to the upside up here to the 382 at 70 but what I really wanted to look at was the Heikinashi see if there's any bullish momentum going on uh, there's some green candles printing so it is bullish at the moment on, on the daily here but they're not very big so you know it, it depends on how far you zoom in but like I've mentioned in previous videos if you don't know how to read the Heikinashi candles uh, when to get in and when to get out uh, you need to go watch videos on it and educate yourself uh, because I'm not the person to show you how to do that I know how to do it but I, I can't explain it uh, you'd have to go watch an in-depth video on how to read the Heikinashi but I just use it as like a bull a, bull a bullish indicator for myself uh, I see a bunch of green candles spawning in and until I see a red one spawn in uh, I'm still bullish on the on the the, the price movement so Switching back over here to the four hour, that kind of tells me that there's still bullish momentum. You can actually look at them on the uh, on the uh, four hour here, but it's it's not as accurate. So, yeah, uh, just just watch those prices on the on the four hour chart. I rambled too much on this one. Uh, watch those short term prices on Solana. Uh, thirty nine here to three eighty two to hold for support, and you break forty two, then you're going to have that thirteen percent gain up to the 2618 at 48 and then of course the 3618 at 53 which was actually the daily charts 236 uh, for a longer term momentum upward as you can see here 53 so yeah just watch those prices if you need to rewind the video uh, this may be my last upload for the day I'm not sure I gotta go out and do some gardening work and work on my chicken coop uh, you know you gotta always be resilient and know know what you're doing and have a game plan because you never know what this world's going to throw at you so it's always nice to have fresh uh vegetables and fresh eggs so not life advice not financial advice you got to do what's best for you but be resilient and always know what's going on in the world and always have an exit plan and always know when you're going to get in of course not financial advice thanks for watching everyone i appreciate it peace out